The EFL team of the season is here and with that we have got ourselves a new objective. 90 rated team of the season moments Chong and he actually looks incredible. He's got the hair like Hullet and he's also got the stats like Hullet. Just look at this card. I mean, his lowest stat is 83 defending. Everything else is 85 plus. Four star, four star, six foot one. He's high, high. Honestly, looks a phenomenal card that you can get for free. So today, we're going to go over all of these objectives, giving you guys my tips, tricks, and just all together a little bit of a walkthrough. If you do enjoy it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and check me out over on Twitch. We stream on there five days a week and we stream three to four, maybe even more hours every single day. Let's get into it. So first of all, you've got score seven goals using midfielders in squad battles on at least semi-pro, or you can do it in rivals or foot champs, which is beautiful. And foot champs playoffs do count towards that as well. So that is brilliant news. You can qualify with foot champs playoffs and just get, try to get them done whilst you're doing it, which is brilliant. Uh, the goals with the midfielders means left mid, right mid, cam, center mid, or a CDM. Essentially, you just need to see an M on their card. I do want to add on to that and say it is what the position is on their card rather than a position they play, if that makes sense. For example, if you've got a striker and you play him on zero chemistry as a central attacking midfielder in your formation, he gets no chem. You'll have, I think you'll have like a little uh, error message next to his name anyway, saying he won't get chem. But that does not count as a midfielder. It has to have a midfielder as a position on the card, all right? It's just three goals using through balls players with at least 80 passing. Um, now, obviously, we do get questions when we have objectives like this with at least 80 something. Now, it does mean, obviously, minimum 80 passing, which is not the pace stat, which is a big misconception with this. PAS, for example, Chong has got 89 passing. He's got 90 pace. You're looking at passing, not the pace. And minimum, obviously, means you need at least 80 passing. So 80 passing or more, 81, 82, 83, etc right um now a through ball if you are unsure on how to do a through ball here is an example to perform a through ball assist all you have to do is press triangle on the playstation if you are on xbox then it would be y and all you got to do is do the rest with the person you pass to and hope you score Next up, you've got score and assist using Dutch players in three separate squad battle matches on at least semi-pro or rivals and foot champs. And lastly, you've got win six games with at least three Dutch players in your starting 11. Now, the quote-unquote squad builder for this one, lads, it is going to be incredibly easy. Now, I'm on my currently on my uh, Wood to Glory, which is a little bit of a road to glory that we do on my Twitch account based around Chris Wood. So it's just, you know, a little bit of fun. But let's just pretend that this is not the Wood to Glory and I'm on my main account here. First First of all, you'll look at your team, and I've, I'm lucky enough, I've got Johan Cruyff. Obviously, that's a Dutch player. Now, you do need two more Dutch players. If you are blessed enough that you've already got three Dutch players in your starting 11, then that's just lucky you, isn't it? I know I've got a Burkamp on the bench, so I could be playing him in there. I'm um, just, just going to search your club for Dutch players. You just need at least three Dutch players, and you are good to go. Now, when it comes to the squad battles tip, it's going to be a little bit different today because usually I say I recommend doing it in squad battles. Go ahead, do it in squad battles. Battles, um, and I usually give you guys the squad battles tip. I'll still give you the squad battles tip, but I'll just give you a quicker recap, right? Essentially, what the squad battles tip is, is you look at all of the teams that you get given in every selection, and you simply choose the most easy ones to beat. For example, there's an 83 with one chem and an 84 with no chem. An 84 with no chem, obviously, that's probably the worst one in the selection. We'll go ahead to play it on semi-pro, and then after we're done that, and I will circle it, you can update your opponents, and then it will give you some more selections. You choose the worst one. You get that updates opponents option every, like, I think, 10 to 15 minutes so you can play the worst team refresh play the worst team refresh so on so forth that's essentially what the squad battles tip is but i reckon these objectives are more than capable are more than easy enough if you will uh to be able to do in either division rivals now i've not played rivals on this account barely obviously in division seven right so it should be pretty easy games um you can do it if you're a foot champs player and playoffs would be pretty easy obviously if you've got at least three dutch players and you play foot champs then you'll just simply get it done by simply playing the game right um so i i reckon what i would recommend doing would be doing it in rivals or champs just as you go right you know as, as you go along now if you do not play online then simply do that squad battles tip i gave you but if you do play division rivals especially if you do play foot champs then all you got to do is get the three dutch players in your squad 
squad. And what you could do as well, obviously you want to keep probably one up, one Dutch player on the pitch, preferably an attacker so you can get the goals and assists I believe you needed. Um, and then what you can do is just sub off for other two Dutch players, whether you're maybe bringing in some midfielders or defenders or something like that. And it's essentially just going to be like any other normal, ordinary gameplay for you. And you will notice that you'll get Chong done as you go. So as I said, score seven goals using midfielders. You'll get done as you play the game. Assist three goals with through balls with players with at least 80 passing. I mean, through ball assist, most players that are in your team at this point probably have at least 80 passing then through balls as well. If it's a part of your game, that will come naturally. If not, it's just going to be triangle or Y on the controller. Uh, score and assist using Dutch players in three separate matches. As I said, now I mean, you could have a Dutch player up top, get those uh, goal and assist with that player in three separate matches. I mean, obviously, uh, if you've done that, you need to try win the six games and then at this point you could just sub off some of the dutch players if you are doing it in rivals champs remember the squad battles tip but otherwise this will be a pretty easy objective lads good luck happy grinding this card looks absolutely phenomenal it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out